Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. Welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, go ahead and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on this kind of fucking garbage in future. If, on the other hand, you're one of those returning subscriber weirdos, well, you may want to seek some professional help. In either case, thank you very much for coming along here. I don't often do these box openings. However, Konami was awesome and hooked me up with some free product, uh, much of which is going to be given away in a giveaway on the channel. So if you haven't seen that out yet already, you should definitely hit subscribe and make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on your chance to win some free product. However, in the meantime, I have a box here I'd like to open. Uh, personally, I kind of wanted to give this away because I was feeling good. And then I remembered that I haven't cracked product in so long that I just want to cry. So we're going to take our punt on the box, see exactly what we open, and hopefully we pull a crazy starlight. But this will be cool for you guys who want to see what's in the box and haven't been able to pick one up yet. You'll get an idea of exactly what you're in for. As a quick note before we continue, if you are looking to pick up any singles, however, you should check out Jam Jam Cards UK. The other channel sponsors and there is a link in the description to their eBay store where you can net yourself a cheeky discount courtesy of yours truly. And if you happen to play the Pokemon TCG as well, they've got some of those cards for you as well. But I digress, let's get stuck in to the box opening for you all. This is going to be a little bit gammy handed, I'm not usually good at this even when I'm stood right in front of a box However, I'm sat in a kind of awkward position in order to record this because I'm not quite set up at home properly just yet. So you'll have to bear with me. Uh, we'll do a bit of a speed run between the packs so I'll just get to the good bits that you kind of just want to see. So I'm really bad at opening these. So I've got a trusty stick of RAM here. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I work with computers. So I usually have stuff like this kicking about. And this is going to be my tool to open this box. That should do it. Oh man, I haven't done this in so long. This is going to feel so good. Let's go. Starlight is what we really want, of course. Naturally, that's what we're looking for in this box. Oh, I've gone ahead and broken the box. Smart of me, of course. Okay, so we're going to just do like half and half, I think. Just do that way. It's probably the best way. I'll try and keep them all on the screen for you as well so you guys can see. Whoop. That nothing fishy is going on because you know what people are like. They want to make themselves look crazy good. And I know you guys like to see everything. Jeez, these packs are slippy as all hell. Oh, man. Listen to that. Oh. Oh. Oh, you guys. I'm not ready for this. Let's go. Okay, so first super psychic eraser laser. And again, just a quick run through of what else is in that pack. Next. S Forced Orifist. Yeah, this looks awesome. I don't know what it is, but it looks cool. Fallen of Albaz. How have I not seen this card? Fallen of Albaz plus one effect monster special summoned during this turn. During your main phase, you can move this card you control to another of your main phase mon uh, your main monster zones. You can destroy all other face-up cards in this card's column. During the end phase, if this card's in the graveyard because it was sent out this turn, you can add to your hand or special summon one Spring Springans? Springans? Springans monster one fallen of Albaz from your deck. You can only use each effect of Sprint the Iron Dash Dragon once per turn. This looks really awesome, to be honest with you. Uh, and you know, it involves fallen of Albaz, so what's not to like about that? Right, let's see what's up next. And apologies, that I know the focus is going to be all over the place on this damn thing because my hands are in here, but you know. Gotta do what you gotta do. Tri Brigade Rendezvous Kit is what we kind of want out of this, you know, out of the lower rarity stuff. Our Arm Dragon Blitz, Paramount Foes Melcaster, Ajama Pink, Ancient Warriors Rebellious Lu Feng. I was collecting these up before I got rid of my actual, like, main collection that I keep, so uh, really interested to see how this gets on and interacts with the deck. Uh, we got Raging Storm Dragon Bow for nine. Yeah, that's nine Roman numerals. Tilted Try, Breath of Acclamation, and Dogmatica Genesis. Let's see what's up next. We'll go back through at the end, though. We'll go through all the hollows so you guys can see exactly what I've pulled in this one. So, Springens, Rocky, uh, some other stuff. Wimwich Blizzard Bell. Uh, S-Force Platina, Platina, 
but you know. It's a waifu tax card if I've ever seen one. Oh, War Rock, this is really cool. This is like the battle phase stuff, uh, you know, if you're into that sort of thing. Uh, yeah, it's interesting deck. Fabled Treason, War Rock Ordeal, Virtual World Gate, Zhuangu. I can't pronounce it. I'm not going to try. Let's see what's up next. Again, apologies. I know the autofocus is all over the place, but hopefully you can still see relatively clearly. Uh, it's a Springen's Pador. Neroi Dr Dream Mirror. They're still making Dream Mirror cards? Okay, sure. Uh, S Force, Professor Dai Gamma. Captain Saga, Springens, Captain Saga. I don't know what these Springens thing do. EMR, Tribute and Machine Monster and Target 1. Card in the field for every thousand original attack of the Tribute Monster to show those cards. Yeah. War Rock, Totally Try, Dream Mirror Recap, Arm Dragon Ritual. Oh, the sound of those packs being opened is just it's a thing of beauty. Shame I opened them like a, a bit of an idiot. Uh, Windwitch Blizzard Belt, Fabled Mar Marcosia, Dream Mirror Disciple, Sprint Iron Dragon, Virtual World Tutu, e. Springen's Blast, Steel Star Regulator, more War Rock stuff and more Spring and stuff. If you guys are uh, interested in any of these uh, these decks that are in here, let me know and I'll, uh, I'll certainly take a look into covering them. Uh, especially these newer ones, the War Rocks and Springens and things like that. I've not heard of them. I don't know an awful lot of them. Uh, I've just seen what I've seen online, which isn't very much, to be quite honest with you. I've been quite busy at work, so we'll be interested to see how they go on. Oh, have a Heavy Metal Foes card. I'd seen this actually online. This seems quite cool, to be quite honest with you. Um, no Electromite, but, you know, it'll do, I guess. Uh, Radiant Vorisians. Guitar, Gurnards, do, do, do we, yeah, okay. Uh, Fairy Archer in, Maha Vilo, there's a new Maha Vilo card, Light of the Heavens, sure. Uh, War Rock, Skylar, Specimen, Steel Star Regulator, Dual Avatar, Ascendance. There's a new Maha Vilo card, pretty cool. I don't know if it's any good, but you know, pretty cool. For those of us who've been around since time began... Remember that card. Uh, Radiant Vorisians, Ajama Pink, Ajama Support. Again, you're still coming out with this. Knight of Armor Dragon, Heavy Metal Foes Amalgam, Meteor Actor Gigadra, Raining Storm, blah, 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 Pendulum Encore, Dream Hour Recap, and Synchro Transmission. Arm Dragon Lightning. Power Metal Foes, Melcaster, Springen's Rocky, Digital Bug, Red Gistrider, War Rock, For Fortia, Fortia, I don't know. Uh, Fable Treason, Dogmatica Genesis, War Rock Ordeal, Stairway to a Fabled Realm. This box feels weird at the moment. Like, I don't feel like I've had anything crazy yet. I mean, to be honest with you, getting one of the cover cards would be really cool. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. We've still got still got a while to go yet. We're, we're just coming up to halfway. Giclops? A bank. Angel statue as Azurun. Whatever that is. Pendulum Encore. P Fabled Treason. Icy Breeze Refrain. Ancient Warriors Saga Chivalrous Path. What's this Icy Breeze thing? Wind Witch. Okay, sure. Obviously, the other card that we want in here would be the pot. That would be the absolute dream. I mean, if we pulled a Starlight pot, that would be absolutely wild. And, you know, crazy things have happened, but that would be pretty cool. Uh, Springen's Branger. Spring the Iron Dash Dragon. Springen's Pador. Knight of Armor Dragon. Ancient Warrior Lu Feng. Synchro Transmission. S4 Specimen. Breath of Acclamation. Linear Equation Cannon. Have I had an Ultra yet? Maybe I have. I can't remember. Uh, but we're, we're just getting up to the halfway point. Let's see what else is in here. Marcosia, Springen's... Varisian's S-Force Professor. Oh, there we go. Ultra. Arm Dragon level 10 white. What does this do? I've seen some of the Arm Dragon stuff, but I can't remember the effect. Uh, so it can't be normal summon or set. must be special summoned by its own effect. You can banish an Arm Dragon monster... Oh, you can banish Arm Dragon Monsters 
from the field and or graveyard whose le- total levels equal to 10. Special summon this card from your hand, then you can add one white veil from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect of Arm Dragon level 10 white once per turn. You take no effect damage, and at the end of the start... At the start of the damage step, if this card attacks, you can destroy one card on the field. Actually quite cool, to be honest with you. Uh, Virtual World Gate, Zhanju. I'll work on this, is nice, man. Springen's Call, Steel Star Regulator, Springen's Blast. This is... Do you know what, man? This is like... It should be a Ghost Rare. That would be... That would be insane. It'd look insane, anyway. I don't know about how it will play, on the other hand. I can't say I've looked into the Arm Dragon stuff enough, to be quite honest with you. Uh, but I know it's definitely one of those decks that you're going to see a lot of uh, old-school players picking up and that kind of thing. Uh, one of those old favourites, I guess. Uh, Fabled Marcosia, Arm Dragon Lightning, uh, Duongi's Giga Thunder Cyclops. Oh, there's our other Ultra. S-Force Platina. Okay, so that's our third Ultra. We definitely got one of them already. Uh, Springen's Call, Springen's Blast, Fable Treason, Reinforcement of the Army's Troops. Oh, man, this is the card that everyone thought was going to be uh, Crossout Designator. And then, yeah, this happened. Um, I'm on Crossout Designator, if I'm quite honest. Right, let's have a look. Let's see what the other half has to say. So far, it's okay. It's okay, I guess. Honestly, I'm happy just kind of cracking packs. I mean, cracking packs is insane. Like, there's no better feeling in the world, even if it's not your own packs, man. Like, the amount of times I've sat there and just opened cases with people just because, like, it's it's a really nice feeling. Um, okay, let's have a look. Iron Dash Dragon, Dream Mirror card, Machina card, Amankud. Oh, actually, I remember reading this before. There was something cool with this. Uh, you kind of activate. Can activate the effects of other special summon monsters with the same attribute as this card. Once per turn during the main phase of this card's owner's quick effect, you can give control of this to your opponent. Then you, the activating player, can make this card become any attribute. Oh, it's it's okay. It's fine. Uh, Paramental Foes, something. Uh, S4 Specimen, Synchro Transmission, Dual Avatar Ascendance, Icy Breeze, Refrain. We still have another secret and we're well over halfway. This is interesting to see exactly what we get in here. Hopefully that means we're getting something really crazy. That would be the dream, anyway. S4 Showdown. Ajama Pink. Uh, Springen's Branger. Heavy Metal Foes Amalgam. Dragonity. Garf... Gorfaba? Gorfab... What is that name? These people are crazy. Uh, some other stuff that we've already seen. Very exciting. Yo, am I gonna get done? Am I gonna have one of these one secret boxes? Is that gonna be is that gonna be my life? Springen's Captain Sargus, Giga Thunder Giclops, Knight of Armor Dragon. I guess this is probably like the uh, the Paladin cards, right? It just searches or something. Tribal Gate Rendezvous, War Rock Mountain. I imagine the least valuable of the secrets, but I guess it's better than none. War Rock Mountain for our first secret dream mirror recap. Pendulum Encore, Dogmatica Genesis, and the Rota card. Shouldn't really even be sharing a similar name. Oh, the sound, man. It just never gets old. Uh, Springen's Pador. Arm Dragon Blitz. S4 Showdown. Machina Uncle Spare. Meteor Actor g- 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 Thing. Stairway. Breath. Blah, blah, blah. We're going to speed this up a little bit now. You guys have seen pretty much all the excitement action. That's going to come into this anyway. Registrider, something, something, something. White bait. What? White baking? Can you guys tell I'm a little bit out of touch with the cards at the moment? This card's name becomes Skull Servant while in the graveyard. If a level 3 or lower zombie monster or monsters you control but destroy by battle or card effect, you can discard this card instead. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add two monsters with different names from your deck to your hand, except white baking that are either Skull Servant or specifically list Skull Servant in their text. Then discard one card. You can only use this effect of white baking once per turn. Cool for those of you who are into that weird Skull Servant deck. I must say, there's definitely been an improvement on the card quality so far. I've noticed there's been some issues, particularly with side sets coming out of uh, the European printers um, over the last few. And this this has actually looked really good. We've not had any like crazy damage or anything, which is nice. Uh, Springen's Branger, Marcosia, uh, 
we've got an ultra coming up. Ajama Pink, Spring into Pador. Oh, yeah, this looks cool. Oh, this is... Oh, sure, okay, this is the... Uh, this is, like, could be a, a reasonable super poly target, right? One Synchro Monster, one Xe Monster, one Link Monster. Uh, once, while this Fusion Summon card is facing on the field, you can pay life points in multiples of 2,000 and apply one of the effects... Following effects for every 2,000 paid. You can only apply each effect once. Uh, so you can add a spell or trap from your graveyard to your hand. Uh, destroy three cards your opponent controls. That's non-targeting, so that's quite nice. Uh, this turn, this card gains attack equal to half of the difference between your life points and your opponent's. Also, your other monsters cannot attack. So it becomes absolutely beefy. It gets to pop stuff, and it gets to add back spells and traps. This could be quite a nice super poly target. One to definitely consider if you've got the space in your extra deck and you're playing super poly, definitely give this a go. Okay, we're running down. Let's see what we got left. Come on, man. Give me something crazy. That'd be the real dream. A pot would be, you know, ideal here. Uh, Knight of Armor Dragon. Heavy Metal Foes Amalgam. Ingnar, blah, blah, blah. Is that a fifth Ultra? S-Force Gravitino. Yo, I'm going to get done here, aren't I? I'm going to get that one secret box. This is going to suck so bad. Oh, man. I can feel it. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready for this. Rocky. Let's just put us out of our misery. Constella. <laughs> Maybe I've been really lucky and just got the extra ultra. That's it. That's it. Come on. Believe. Believe. Feel the positivity. Believe. Something, 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 something. On Dragon Thunder 3. Oh, there's two packs left. Ah, this is going to be so bad. I can feel it now. Oh. Oh, okay. We got our second secret. So maybe, we just maybe lucked out with the extra ultra then. That's not too bad. S-Force Bridgehead. This card is activated. You can add one S-Force monster from your deck to your hand. Blah, 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 blah. Right, okay, last pack. So it looks like we had five Ultras, right? If I've not miscounted. I'm pretty sure it was five Ultras. And the Super. Or, or Neros, the Dream Mirror, Tormentor. Right, okay, you guys. We are going to go ahead and look back over the Hollows and show you exactly what we pulled. So you've got an idea of what we got. Okay, so this is what we pulled, ladies and gentlemen. So for our secrets, we've got War Rock Mountain and S Force Bridgehead. We're going to pop those over there, so they're out the way. Uh, nothing too exciting to see there. Uh, Ultras, we got five, which we kind of lucked out on. Uh, so we've got the Fusion Boy, Arm Dragon, level 10 white, two copies of Platina, and a single copy of Gravitino. I don't know if these have like any any actual value, so who knows. Uh, and this is Supers, so we've got two copies of uh, Rebellious Lu Feng, two copies of Gigadra, one White Baking, one Azortless, one thing that I can't pronounce, EMR, Mahavilo, Tutu, Fortia, Azurun, uh, Dream Mirror Guy, Psychic Eraser Laser, uh, Fist Guy, Thunder Dragon Level 3, or whatever he's called, Arm Dragon Thunder, you know what I mean. Uh, and uh, Constella card, I didn't, I didn't even realise this guy was a Constella card. Uh, I don't know if he's any good, but there you go. Uh, but that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for coming along. I do appreciate you being here. Unfortunately, the box was a little bit of a dud, although a fifth ultra is kind of cool. Not something you see every day, so that was quite nice, I guess. Um, but absolutely awesome. So big shout out to Konami for giving me the hookup with this box. I do really appreciate it and uh, being able to allow me to produce this content for you guys. Uh, 
and all of that good stuff. But that does bring us to a close on our video today. We don't normally do too many box openings, so don't expect an absolute ton of these in future. We do usually pick up some from each set. Hopefully, though, we can get some case openings once things are back to normal. And I can see the boys over at Jam Jam Cards UK. Um, and they will be able to crack some packs with me. So, again, thank you very much for being here. If you haven't already, you should definitely hit subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. This content is brought to you in association with my buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description.